Pet Pals is on the road this week. Welcome to Dreyer and Reinbold Subaru on the south side off of US 31. I rode Louie down here today. We, we have some other uh, rides here that are dogs, they're cars. It's a wonderful selection. And this is to benefit this pet adoption drive, the Humane Society for Johnson County. And there's a dog wash going to go dog on too. Dog wash going on just today. Just a couple hours. We're going to talk to James from uh, the fine folks here at uh, Dreyer and Reinbold in just a few moments. And Louie, we're going to start with someone that looks like you. Oh, a thing therapy dog, a Bernese Mountain dog. His name is Bentley. He works at the hospital in Seymour, Indiana, and he's good for the visit. A small Midwestern hospital with a solid reputation has been experimenting with a different type of therapy to excellent reviews. This therapy is actually an ancient remedy that does not require surgery or drugs. This therapy encourages the healing power of pets, and more specifically the healing power of Bentley, the therapy dog. Owned by Nurse Janet Myers, Bentley goes to work at Schneck Medical Center in Seymour, Indiana, three days a week. A simple bedside visit of 10 to 15 minutes can lower the pain and anxiety in our patients. And in lowering the anxiety, it can affect the blood pressure, the heart rate, and in our heart failure patients, it even impacts some of their um, lab values. Say hi, Miss Doris. He's a big boy with a big personality and a big hit with everyone, including the staff. When Bentley walks in, all of us nurses gather around and we all have a new smile on our faces, so he brightens our day as well. I remember one gentleman in particular, he was a cancer patient. Bentley made a visit one afternoon and after Bentley left, this gentleman talked all afternoon about Bentley and even the next day when I came back into work he was still talking about Bentley. So that visit just allowed him to forget himself for a while and focus on something else. And administration. And what Bentley is able to do for, for maybe um, a lot of our patients is just kind of soften them up and help them forget just for a few minutes what they're going through, whether it's illness or pain, and just give them that encouragement that they need to get better to get home. And most importantly, the patients, from the youngest Come on, to the oldest. Some go to great lengths to get up close and personal with Bentley. He's just so nice and lovable and kind. He's a big dog, but very gentle. He gets pretty good hugs. Janet is aware of Bentley's powers. Our hospice patients really benefit from our visits. It gives them something to look forward to every day. And then as they approach the end of life, it is beneficial for the patient and their family. Bringing a pet therapy dog into the environment creates a sense of serenity, calm, peacefulness about the situation especially if you have a very warm and compassionate dog who understands what's going on. I think the most exciting visits that I recollect are those when Bentley can change a patient's behavior that no other therapy or resource could. And there are no side effects from drugs. It's absolutely free and the, the people feel so much better. You don't have to live in Seymour to enjoy the adventures of Bentley. Janet has just published a book, The Visit, about him and her therapy dog before Bentley, another Bernese Mountain Dog named Maggie. Maggie passed a few years ago, but Bentley carries on in her tradition, dispensing love in a hospital setting. Bentley therapy, a prescription for happy healing. And we're back, and we're at Dreyer and Reinbold Subaru in Greenwood for Pet Pals, Paul and Buster, my uh, pal here in this segment, along with James McFadden, who is the sales manager out here. And we got dogs roaming all over the parking lot. What, what, what's the deal? Why do you, why do you guys uh, get involved in this and with the uh, Humane Society for Johnson County? Well, Paul, uh, as a Subaru dealership, we feel it's important to support local charities, uh, and with the Humane Society and the ASPCA just falling hand in hand with Subaru as a product, with most of their owners uh, being involved with that, we felt that taking care of our local Humane Society would be a good job. Uh, they make a lot of money off of these events to help aid the animals and the rescue efforts for it. Uh, we just thought it would be important to contribute to our community. Buster is very happy. I'm feeling it in my right leg right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, while Buster uh, goes, consults with James, we'll take a look at a story from Patty about dogs who help those with hearing disabilities. That's the sound that sends Allie into action. 
Allie is a service dog. In this case, a service dog for the hearing impaired. The benefit now is twofold. Number one, she helps wake me up in the morning. I have her trained to a certain sound on my phone, which I use for an alarm, whether it be waking up in the morning, whether it be cooking, and you know the timer goes off. So when she hears this particular so um, sound, she comes and finds me. Suzanne is profoundly hearing impaired. It started at age 12 and has steadily progressed. Without her two high-powered aids, she would be totally deaf. Before Allie, Suzanne had another hearing dog, Barney, and she points out that while Labs and Goldens make good guide dogs with their calm nature, some of the smaller, more active breeds, such as Allie, make good hearing dogs. Uh, she was also a shelter dog and then she was identified for being very, very intelligent and very responsive and eager to please. Those are all qualities of any service dog, but especially with hearing dogs because there are so many, again, noises and distractions and there's only certain key things you want them to do. It's not like, you know, um, a seeing eye dog where it's constantly working. She's got to sit very quietly and wait till she hears that very specific sound to remind me. Brian knows how to be accommodating to Suzanne's disability. Allie, she's very keen on um, making some, some growling type noises and barking, even if it's just a cat outside at night. Uh -huh. she, she has radar. As a matter of fact, one time I was here at the house and Allie ran to the front door exactly three minutes before Suzanne drove up the driveway. And I know that dogs have that capability. This one definitely has that capability. And her son Nico is also aware of how to deal with a mom who can't hear well. But it's Allie who gives Suzanne her sense of well-being and safety. So I have to work so much harder than other people do. And then you've got, you know, one of these little girls. And, you know, she's always, she's always happy to see you. You know, she just makes you feel, feel better just by the silly little things they do or the ways that they do help you. Do you think it's a tough job for this service dog? Nope, once Allie's vest is off, she and their other pet dog enjoy a good romp in the wooded backyard. So, there's a time to work and a time to play. And then there's time for hugs and kisses. And that's the ultimate reward for a job well done. Say hello to Suzanne and me at ALDA, which stands for the Association of Late Deafened Adults. The National Conference will be held downtown Indianapolis at the Embassy Suites, October 26th through the 30th, and I'll be speaking on the 26th. For more information, go to ALDA.org. Also, as the spokesperson for Here Indiana, I invite you to the Listening and Spoken Language Conference on October the 28th in Carmel, Indiana. For more information there, go to hearindiana.org. We don't have to suffer in silence anymore. Are you on Facebook? Find us and like our PetPalsTV.com fan page. Lisa Marciano shared this picture of her dog Ginger, a miniature schnauzer who likes to sleep in on Saturday mornings. Make sure Ginger's up by 1030, would you? And here's Lisa's chihuahua named Diamond showing off her Barbie dress. It's a Barbie world. And Diamond loves to go for a car ride. So much to see. She doesn't know where to look first. Speaking of cool rides, meet Bentley, a Bernese mountain dog and a therapy dog who loves to go cruising with the top down. Thanks to Janet Myers for sending this picture along. And finally, two pals, Roxy and Henry, doing what they do best, just looking cute. Michelle Eilerman posted these photos to our PetPalsTV.com page. Henry is a Basset Hound and Roxy's the Lab. Share your pet's photos on our Facebook page and you may see them here on Pet Pals TV. Closed captioning for Pet Pals TV brought to you by Relay Indiana and in track featuring the caption telephone phone service. Because of my hearing loss, I avoided answering the phone. My CapTel phone allows me to read what the other person is saying. If you or someone you love suffers from hearing loss, please look into getting a CapTel phone. It's easy. See what you're hearing. Once Oliver was lost, the chill settled in. How will you tell your daughter? Will she ever hear his paws dance in the hall again? Is he even okay? 
Thankfully, Invisible Fence Brand has kept over 2 million tails wagging happily and safely in their yards and nowhere else. No running into traffic, no upset neighbors, just pure freedom for you and your dog. For a special limited time offer, visit InvisibleFence.com slash TV. She doesn't belong to me, she belongs with me. She's my friend, my family, my confidant, and I want to do everything I can to return the favor. That's why I choose Holistic Select Cat Food, the wholesome natural ingredients and perfectly balanced nutrition she deserves. Holistic Select, pet food for the pet wise parent. To learn more about Holistic Select recipes for cats and dogs and to find Holistic Select at a pet specialty retailer near you, visit holisticselect.com. The Milano Inn. You've enjoyed our Italian dining for years. Now enjoy our new relaxing courtyard with beautiful views of downtown. And on Sundays this summer, bring your dog to Puppies, Pasta, and Bacci. From 4 to 9 p.m., enjoy our courtyard with a full menu. 10% of the proceeds will be donated to a local animal shelter. Hi, Gina Lagrada here at Milano Inn with Oliver, proud sponsor of Pet Pals TV. We're committed to bring you good news about pets and people. Puppies, Pasta, and Bocce, Sundays at the Milano Inn. Back at Dryer and Reinbold Subaru, big pet adoption drive going to happen in a couple of hours. And here's a lady, John A. has already bought your Subaru here, correct? Yes, ma'am. What did you get? I got a Forester. You like it? I love it. Why do you like it? Oh, it's so pet friendly. And Barnaby, does Barnaby like it too? Oh, he does. He <laughs> what's does. the What's the favorite thing Barnaby likes to do? Go to the drive-in, go camping. Yep. And hang out. Anything in the car. Anything in the car. Well, Barnaby, you give it two paws up, right? You sweet boy. Now we're going to go visit with the Humane Society of Indianapolis and some Colts players on their day off. They went to visit and talk to and work with some shelter pets. The law firm of Miller Meyer LLP is proud to sponsor the Humane Society of Indianapolis on Pet Pals TV. We encourage responsible pet ownership. Enjoy the show with Dina and me. The Humane Society of Indianapolis recently hosted some pretty rugged celebrities, some members of our team of pet lovers. The Colts. Several players came as part of a community outreach program to stay and play with some shelter dogs. And you are a dog lover? You have one at home? Yes, I do have a dog. I have a 13-year-old black lab, so she's had it for a long time. And as I understand it, this is your one day that you don't have to train or, or do a game. So you're giving your day off to help with the shelter, right? Correct, yes. Well, we're here just volunteering our time. And, uh, you know, I think we're all pet lovers here, so that's why we're here. What do you have? I have two Bernice Mountain dogs. No one was happier to have these celebrities come to the shelter than John Alshire. Wonderful idea. I mean, we love the colts, and, uh, you know, colts are animals too. Uh, <laughs> four-legged and we have dogs and cats so our hometown team's here at the hometown shelter. All right. We grew up loving animals. I think you know we grew up with a lot of cats. We did have some dogs but we had everything from like hermit crabs to frogs. I mean we loved all animals so dogs especially and it was something that um, just means a lot to me. It was a great day of working out and training not for the Colts but rather for their furry fans. No matter what the score these players are winners in our book every time. Hey, nothing but a party. The third annual original and fabulous German Fest was held at the Athenaeum downtown. Attendance soared, and even some dignitaries attended. What's your heritage, by the way? What's your background? Uh, I'm a mutt. You're what? I'm a mutt. A mutt? <laughs> I thought that's what you said. So you I think I got some uh, English, French, and German from what I understand. I really haven't researched it deeply, but I'm, I'm, I'm more mutt than anything else, I believe, so. And some TV celebrities. It's in the wiener dog race at 3 o'clock. Yeah. We're really hoping that he does well, but I don't think he will. So, you know, we'll just see how it goes. What's Say his name? Daddy. What's his name? Doug. Doug? Doug. Doug. Doug the dog. Hi, Doug. Doug. Are you good for it? Oh, Doug. And some colorful men in traditional attire. Your family is, a, is, is somehow tied in here. My great-great-great-grandfather was one of the founders of the building. So fourth generation German-American, 
And, my, you, and you still work here then? I do work here. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Yelp.com is where you connect with great local businesses. We are connecting locals with awesome local businesses every single day. Where real people are writing real reviews. The strong man and strong woman contests were crowd pleasers too. The food and beverages were traditional beer and brats, while the sounds of German music filled the fall air. There was a race for folks early on, but other races grabbed most of the attention. The Dash of the Wieners, always the most popular contest. These little guys seem to know they're on display once a year, and they make the most of it. All in all, a wonderful way to celebrate. No matter what your heritage, we were all from Deutschland this day. The Milano Inn. You've enjoyed our Italian dining for years. Now enjoy our new relaxing courtyard with beautiful views of downtown. And on Sundays this summer, bring your dog to Puppies, Pasta, and Bacci. From 4 to 9 p.m., enjoy our courtyard with a full menu. 10% of the proceeds will be donated to a local animal shelter. Hi, Gina LaGrada here at Milano Inn with Oliver, proud sponsor of Pet Pals TV. We're committed to bring you good news about pets and people. Puppies, pasta, and bocce, Sundays at the Milano Inn. Hi, I'm Mr. Motion, Mike White, President of Body in Motion Personal Training. And are you ready to bring out the best in you? Then come give Body in Motion a try, where you'll get the most affordable, results-driven workouts you can get. And tell them Mr. Motion sent you. It's still hard to believe Oliver just ran away. Why well, take the chance? Invisible Fence brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. To celebrate the success of the Paul and Tom Internet Radio Show, we've built a brand new set. Paul, I don't see a set. <laughs> don't you worry. We'll fix that in post. Visit paulandtomshow.com. This Humane Society of Johnson County segment on Pet Pals TV is made possible by Dreyer Reinbold Subaru. Pet Pals continues on this Saturday morning from Dreyer and Reinbold Subaru, Southside Greenwood, just off US 31. We've got some friends from the Johnson County Humane Society and dogs of all sorts. And the leader of the pack these days yes. is DJ Parker. Yes. Now the executive director, head honcho, and all that stuff of uh, Humane Society for Johnson County. Exactly. Yeah, I just um, just got started uh, with the Humane Society of Johnson County, and I'm really excited about the opportunity. There's so much tremendous potential that we've got in Johnson County to really make a difference, and, and I'm looking forward to doing that. She's a hands-on leader. I saw her. She's got a bucket ready for the dog wash. <laughs> That's right. With your name on it. That's right. You know. <laughs> yeah, and and we're getting ready for the event later this afternoon, so that we can um, really we'll have some of the pets here. The we've got some dogs that we'll be bringing in that are available for adoption um, and keeping in mind that our facility right now uh, all of our pets that we have are our foster animals so they do have foster homes so it's a great thing because they're already acclimated to families and other animals and things like that so it's it's a great environment so if you're watching yeah. right now around Johnson County you're not going to go to a place with a bunch of cages that would be a, exactly. a totally different Exactly. Now you can always go to our website and um, through Pet Finder we have a, a link that will uh, give you the opportunity to look at all the, the available animals that we have. DJ Parker, we look forward to working with you and thanks Thank for being you. with us uh, here today. Pet Pals continues. Kind of a sad follow-up story. You know, we were at Wolf Park recently near Battleground, Indiana, and Patty talked to the founder of Wolf Park. That goes back into the 70s. He was fighting already a medical battle at that time and he passed away recently. We have a look back. A place like this doesn't just happen, nor does it run itself. It takes constant work, constant upkeep, constant hands-on interaction. Dharma! Senior wolf handler and wolf expert Pat Goodman has been here since 1974. She came to work on her research paper and never left. Canis lupus were indigenous to Indiana, but they died out, the native population, a little over 100 years ago. Wow. We may have dispersers occasionally coming down from the population in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I love it. Well, and if you run into a wolf, not that it would happen here, but let's say a wolf comes up to you in the wild, what should you do? Take pictures. Why? Because they normally try to avoid people in the wild. And we were honored to visit with former Purdue professor Dr. Eric Klinghammer. It was his vision nearly 40 years ago 
to create such a park where wolves could be observed and protected for education and research, where some of the wolves are tame enough to be touched, but not domesticated. It was a very selfish thing, you know. We wanted to get close to wolves, and, and we realized what you have to do is keep them properly. And I think that's what we're doing. I mean, it's bad enough to end captivity, but, but that's how you reach people. They come and want to see the wolves. Thank you, Dr. Eric, for your contribution to our knowledge. Your mission is still strong. Your vision is still clear. Thanks for hanging out like Ellie is this morning. She's leaning on me. I don't know, but she thinks I know something. Okay, I guess. <laughs> All I know is that we're here on Pet Pals today. We're in the South Side. We're at Dry and Rheinbold Subaru in Greenwood. There's going to be a big dog wash in just a little bit and also a big adoption drive. And when people come out for that and when they come out and look for cars and trucks, are there certain kinds of vehicles that, uh, you know, you guys, if you find out that it's a, a pet person that you recommend? Yeah, Paul, we've got two vehicles that are very friendly for pet owners. Uh, one of them we're in front of right now, a Subaru Forester. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we also have the Subaru Outback as well. Uh, they've got quite a bit of room in the uh, in the back for animals. And they also have some uh, dog-friendly options uh, that uh, can help protect your animal while you're driving to your final destination so that they don't slide all over the back of the vehicle and injure themselves. I go take a test drive, but somebody is, is, is on me right now. <laughs> I think she's chosen this think, one. Yes. <laughs> well, James, we appreciate the time out here today at Subaru Dryer and Rhyme Bowl down in Greenwood. Now we're going to go back up north. The recent Pause for Hope Canine Cancer Walk. Patty and I were there, and we had a great time. Time to put on our tennies again and walk for Pause for Hope to raise awareness about canine cancer. A nice crowd gathered on a nice day at Forest Park in Noblesville for the second annual walk and the Pet Pals team was on hand. Not just Louie, lots of dogs. You may lots hear them in the dogs. background during yes, this. Yes, indeed, uh, and this is a very good cause too because cancer in canines is very prevalent and the dog can't tell you when something's wrong, so you have to look for signs. I'm so glad that you're with me this year. Last year you weren't here and there was quite a bit of rainfall, Patty, so. See, I kept the rain away. I'm good for something, finally. Personal bubble of high pressure protectiveness. Wow. <laughs> but enough about the weather. We've got dogs to talk to. Like Nico, the rescued Dogo Argentino from a kill shelter in L.A., who got national attention and ended up with an Indiana family. Nico's a pet now, but his cancer's returned. Because we took him off the chemo, he's back to himself. He's hopping. He doesn't run. He hops or bounces, we call it. And he's very vocal, and he's just so happy, and he's back kind of to himself since we took him off the chemo because it was just too harsh for him. Is there any way to prevent canine cancer? Go in every year, get some annual exams, have blood work drawn. Um, really preventative medicine is the best way. What's the most common type of cancer that dogs that you see seem to have? Well, um, as an emergency doctor, I see a lot of uh, hemangiosarcoma, which is uh, a cancer um, that we see with the blood vessels. Um, lymphoma is probably the most common cancer we see in dogs. Sally Bordoff is the organizer of this event. It's named the Sierra Nevada Canine Cancer Foundation after her dog who passed from cancer. There wasn't anything in Indianapolis where people could go to to get information on cancer. Um, I called all over and I ended up getting most of my information from Purdue and we partnered with Purdue and so when you come out here and you do the walk all of our money that we raise goes to the Purdue um, well it goes into our research but it'll eventually find its way to Purdue. So with leash in hand and our best friends in the lead we all take off on this important walk knowing it's to raise funds and awareness. The dogs well they just know it's fun. Dryer and Reinbold Subaru of Greenwood on US 31 South and at DryerRheinboldSubaru.com. Charlie always waited faithfully for you, but now that he's lost, it's you waiting for him. Put your mind at ease. Invisible Fence brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. 
Don't call me a pet owner. I'm a lot more than that. I'm a coach, a companion, a parent, and a friend. I have to make choices for my dog that he can't make for himself. I like to ensure that he has the best quality of life possible. So I choose Holistic Select. Holistic Select, pet food for the pet wise parent. Made in Mishawaka, Indiana. Holistic Select is available at pet specialty retailers. To learn more, visit holisticselect.com. Hi, I'm Mr. Motion, Mike White, president of Body in Motion Personal Training. And are you ready to bring out the best in you? Then come give Body in Motion a try, where you'll get the most affordable, results-driven workouts you can get. And tell them Mr. Motion sent you. Scout and Zoys want to give you a treat every week. Sign up for the Pet Pals TV Weekly Dish. The newsletter serves up pet-friendly events, video pics, and local adoptable pets. Sign up as a member of PetPalsTV.com to get the Weekly Dish. Sponsored by Scout and Zoys Allergy-Free Pet Shoes. Fetch some today at ScoutandZoys.com. It can be heartbreaking to see an animal suffer for, from abuse or neglect. There are a number of legal steps that you can take to protect an animal that you see suffering in such a way. In an emergency situation where an animal's life or health is in danger, call your local law enforcement or 911 immediately. If the animal's life is not in danger, but you suspect neglect, it may be productive to approach the guardian and offer assistance. There are times when the caretaker of the animal is blind to their ability to offer the appropriate care for the animal or animals in their care. If the guardian of the animal is not approachable, or if you suspect the animal suffering from abuse as well as neglect, alert the animal control shelter about the situation immediately. It will be important for you to take photographs or video of what you've seen. If you have questions, contact me at PetPalsTV.com. I'm Gary Miller, and be a responsible pet owner. Thank you, Southside. Don't we love the Southside, Patty? We love the Southside. Thank you all for uh, your hospitality. Dry and Reinbold Subaru, the place for the adoption event today, the dog wash. You can get little Subaru trinkets for your dogs, too. Humane Society for Johnson County Benefits. Come out and adopt a pet for yourself, giving away dog collars, dog leashes, and dog tags. We got everything for you, including a new ride. So until next time on Pet Pals TV, bye. See you. Love is all I need for Your cure for reality.